In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some Blender tutorials created by artists from the Blender community. These tutorials range from tips and tricks for modeling, rendering, geometry nodes, and much more. But before we do that, I wanna let you know about Fox Render Farm challenges. We talked about these challenges before in previous videos where we mentioned the theme and the rules. And this time around, we're gonna talk about the prizes. There will be two different categories, a professional one and a student category. There will also be three different winners for each category and they will get many prizes, stitch coupons up to $500 to use within Fox Render Farm, in addition to paid licenses of paid 3D software. Ben Chung, Karim Sala, Miyu Aoki, and Frank Wang Yifeng are the judges who will review the proposals. Remember that the deadline for submissions is December 11th and that the winners will be revealed on December 19th. If you want to know more, you will find the necessary links in the description below. So we will kick off this list with a talk by Andrew Price, the Blender Guru himself from the most recent Beacon 2022. While this is not a tutorial in a traditional sense, still, I think some of the information here are really helpful as his presentation was all about how to achieve photorealism in your projects by studying other well-known works and films like the most recent Toy Story movie. He outlined some of the most important aspects of achieving photorealism by combining them into three different points and breaking each one of them down, so I highly recommend this one. And in general, if you missed Blender Conference 2022, you can check all the talks and presentations from Blender official YouTube channel as it is always a great opportunity to see what's going on with Blender, where the development is heading, the roadmap, in addition to a ton of really helpful presentations such as this one. Another one that I particularly enjoyed is The Animation of Noir by Pierre Picard. Alright, here is a question. Have you ever needed an inflatable text? Exactly, me neither. But Ducky 3D is gonna show you how to make it anyway. This cool looking inflated text with class simulations has become very popular recently, so if you wanna get your inflated text effect in Blender, this is the tutorial for you. Of course, there is a lot of use cases for this approach, more than just the text effect, and it incorporates both geometry nodes and cloth simulation. Moving on, we have this awesome tutorial made by Max Hay, where he breaks down his latest Cyberpunk City artwork. He will talk about his inspiration and some details on how you can achieve some of the effects step by step. If you are into this kind of artwork, then you will definitely find this tutorial really, really useful. He will touch on things like how to nail the camera, lighting, texturing, in addition to other stuff. Next, we have a quick tutorial by Brad from Light Architect. In this video, he shows us how to use proportional editing in Blender in order to line up a CG geometry and elements to the scene more easily. This video will be very helpful since this technique is very useful for organically adapting 3D assets you already have in a live action shot. By the way, Brad has a lot of cool tutorials and videos if you are trying to learn VFX and I highly recommend his stuff. Next up, we have another quick video that was created by Smeef. In this tutorial, he showcases a VFX technique that is widely used in hundreds of modern day Hollywood films. This technique is called Rotomation. It is basically getting raw footage from real life and then following the movement in that video frame by frame in order to animate your character and match the real character. He will let you know that this technique goes through three different steps. The first one is gathering references and then moving into camera tracking and the third one and last one is rotomation where you're gonna follow the animation in the footage you imported. Moving on, we have a modeling tutorial by CG Geek where he showed us how he made a cute looking robot in just 15 minutes. Basically, he showcased how he modeled the robot first by modeling the head and then the body and arms. After that, he added some red metal material to give it a beautiful look. Although this model is very simple, you can do a lot of things with it. For example, you can easily rig it and then animate it, or you can use it in a VFX shot or just keep it as an asset for future projects. 
Talking about creating materials, we have another brief and entertaining video to watch, this time from Kaizen Tutorials. In this video, he demonstrates how to produce a professional looking material which will help you advance your shading skills. He demonstrated some amazing techniques as well as how to combine and link nodes to produce the ideal realistic materials. This is yet another video from Kaizen Tutorials. With Blender 3.3 LTS recent release, there are a ton of new features for us to try out and explore. In this video, he reveals some very useful and hidden Blender tips and tricks, including how to move any object's origin freely, also how to determine which areas of your scenes are exposed more, how to use the new Auto Shade Smooth feature, and much more. If you are interested in rigging, well, this tutorial by Polygon Runaway will help you a lot when it comes to that. In this video, he shows us a simple way on how to make a robotic arm rig. And of course, before making the rig itself, you will need first to have the model ready for it. So he first started modeling the arm. Also, he made a simple model just to demonstrate how to rig it. Then he moved into the rigging by first making a parent chain where he parented each object to the object after it so that the object will have control over the whole arm. He then added some object constraints so that the object tracks the movement of the another one. He then finished by animating the model a bit by bit to show how the rig is working. Must watch this video from Ducky3D since he is talented in this regard. As we all know, there are four different lights you can add, but sometimes we find it difficult to understand the differences between them and what each one of them is used for. So this time, Ducky3D revealed to us all the information and differences regarding every light type that is available inside Blender, as well as how and when to select the right type in different situations and how to use them. With this amazing geometry node tutorial made by Clever Polly. In this video, he showed us how to make a nice simulation of crash rolling zombies, and you will see how powerful geometry nodes are in Blender. You can literally make everything with it, from the start to the end, just like Clever Polly did. When you view the finished rendering, you will think that it is super complicated, but Clever Polly made it look really simple. And by closely following this one step by step, you can create a simulation that looks similar to this one or even better. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.